Hi, my name is Boski Sabla, and I'm going to talk about deploying a Kubernetes cluster in vSphere and AWS using Cluster API and a single management cluster. Now, to begin with, I've already downloaded some of the component files needed for both the vSphere provider and AWS provider and stored them in different folders on my laptop and also updated some of the environment files needed to point to my AWS and vSphere environments. Now let's like dig into vSphere. So here's my vSphere environment. And my goal is to create Kubernetes cluster in the resource pool cluster API under the PA data center. So let's start by creating a client cluster that will help us bootstrap these environments. Um, I've already installed um, and downloaded kind, and I'm going to create a cluster using kind. Once I have the kind cluster created, I'm going to start deploying some of the infrastructure components needed for cluster API. So right now you'll see it has only the default namespaces, but as I start installing my cluster API components, we'll start um, some of the CRDs that cluster API creates to start building out. Let's start deploying the bootstrap components for cluster API as well. And this is irrespective of any provider. These are components needed by cluster API. Now let's get into vSphere. So I already have an infrastructure component file with environments um, variables set in a text file. And this is what I'll be using to build the cluster API components. So I'm going to run the infrastructure components YAML file. This will create a namespace called capv and the CRDs needed for vSphere provider. Also, I'm also deploying the secrets needed such that Cluster API can access my vSphere environment. Now at this point, there are no target clusters created in vSphere. So you'll see nothing created. So let's start by uh, deploying some uh, target clusters. So my cluster is going to be workload cluster one, and I'm going to generate the YAML files needed to de deploy this. Um, I'm going to start running the cluster.yaml file. This will create um, this, the target cluster within our kind a resource type as, class, as uh, workload cluster one. Now let's deploy a master uh, node for this. To do so, I'm going to run the control plane.yaml file. This will start creating a virtual machine for the master node using a template that I've already pre-deployed within vSphere using an um, Ubuntu-based image. So that's the image that I'm going to use. Now, once this comes up, we are going to then de uh, apply uh, a CNI so that our target cluster can have a container networking solution. So I'm going to grab the kubeconfig file uh, that we just uh, created for our target cluster and then deploy the Calico as a CNI solution. Without the CNI installed, the node status for the target cluster will show not ready. So let's go ahead and deploy the Calico CNI. Again, I'm going to use the add-ons.yaml file. This was automatically generated um, by the cluster API vSphere provider component. So Calico is installed. After a couple of minutes, you'll actually start seeing the master node status as up and running. So right now it's ready. Now let's add some worker nodes here. So I'm going to deploy a machine deployment using the same files that we generated. And this will duplicate another virtual machine and join uh, the master node. Again, the virtual machine is going to use the same image that we have uploaded, the Ubuntu uh, one. After a few minutes, you should start seeing the worker node as provisioned and the status of the overall cluster as up and running for both the nodes. So the status of the vSphere cluster is ready. Now let's start looking at our AWS environments. So I'm going to switch to the AWS folder and I'm going to use the same things, um, the same flow, workflow for vSphere 
uh, will start by our AWS environment files and I'm going to export some of the environment variables here for my AWS environment. Once I'm done with that, we'll start deploying the infrastructure components needed to create the AWS provider specific CRDs within the Kind cluster. So now you'll see some namespaces with AWS A or CAP A system created along with CAP V. So here's my AWS environment. It has nothing in there right now. So let's start deploying some target components here. I'll apply the cluster.yaml file to create um, uh, a cluster called Capi Quick Start, and this should create uh, a bastion station in AWS. Then I'm going to create the master node for this cluster. So I'm going to apply the Cap A uh, controller.yaml pointing to that cluster component, and this will again duplicate a VM in AWS to create the master node. Similarly, um, I'll go ahead and create, um, get the fetch the cube config file for this target cluster, and then apply uh, a CNI so that the worker nodes and the master node have container networking as well. And finally, I'll start deploying the machine set for um, the worker node as well. So there we have it, uh, a target cluster with a master and a worker node created in AWS. Now if you go back to your um, cluster in kind, you'll see um, CAP E, uh, uh, vSphere and AWS components deployed side by side, two clusters, one running in AWS and one running in vSphere. All right, thank you.